spent the last two hours writing all my notes and topics of what we were going to talk about today. Put my gat to the side real quick. And you know what? I came to the conclusion after I'm writing all this material and I'm just going to town. I like to keep all my YouTube videos around a certain general topic and discussions and it's easier for discussions and feedbacks and back and forth chats with my subscribers and the comments below so I decided to stay away from this area a little bit but it does have a little bit to do with the film industry and so we're gonna share a little bit of what I wrote down today in my little black book alright and like I said, it's not a big class on film design or film theory or, you know, principle photography or post-production or anything like that. This is pretty much just, I guess it could be a little bit of film theory or we'll say history. This will be our film history class, alright? Hollywood. Glitz. Glamour. Limelight. Hit you with that limelight twice. It just went nuts. Everything went crazy. Not on Detroit. We don't do that stuff over here in the Midwest, all right? Keep it classy. Keep it. You know how we keep it? Keep it like pop. Y'all say soda, we say pop. We keep it pop, all right? We keep it real, we keep it different. We keep it pop. Anyway, another guy. You know what, it doesn't even matter, all these guys on the list. You know what, be respectful to ladies in the industry, all right? It's a new age, new era, times have changed, not the golden age no more. It's not time to bring the hot A-list actress into my hotel room or my trailer and you're giving me some of that if you want to get this lead role. Or you got to do this to get my next big lead. Or if you want an Oscar nomination, you got to do this. Well, guess what? Bye-bye, people. A lot of people, you know. And the funny thing is, is I spent 10 years in Los Angeles. And everyone that's told me in the game, around the game, and I've been around some big producers and everything, just doing what I did and had some fun out there. And it's in the industry. It's everywhere. And this is just some of the cases. 400-plus women, five guys have single-handedly brought down the a 400 A-list actors. Damn near all A-list actors. I can't even say their names because I don't want to bring them out. You guys go read the articles if you want to read them and get to know these ladies and hear their stories or whatever. They're disgusting and nasty. I was brushing up on a little bit of it today, so I just did, I decided not to say any names. You just got to be respectful. You know, 400 women by these directors and actors and producers, you know, all damn near A-list, you know, are filing suits for sexual harassment. Or I wouldn't be surprised if they do file suits for sexual harassment. So if they file suits for sexual harassment, are the B, C, and D list actors going to file discrimination charges because they didn't get courted or cordialed or whatever it's called or, you know, propositioned? Are they going to be discriminated? Like, why the hell didn't touch my butt? Why didn't he ask me to come to his hotel room? I would have took that lead role. With your point of view, there's always someone with an opposite point of view. Plain and simple. You got your point of view, you got your point of view. Two point of views, you guys ain't going to connect, you ain't going to meet. You are going to bring beef to his channel, your channel is going to bring beef to his channel, and that's just how the world works now. The, everything is connected, combined together. You guys tracking? You guys get this? Alright, so, in a film school aspect situation as this channel is when you get out of film school get into the real world and you start shooting and directing and producing don't be like any of these guys that are being publicly broadcasted on every website and TV station and news station and article and blog and vlog and kicked out of the Academy and there's only been three people kicked out of Academy and one happened this year. Very hard thing to do, but it's very easy to do if you're doing what the hell that guy did. Be respectful when you get out of film school, alright? Be very respectful of these ladies. Guys that are just 
gods in LA are just treating these little girls like they're this big, like they're nothing because they're actresses. Well, guess what? Everyone has a voice. Now in 2017, please excuse me if I am butt hurting someone, but I'm just saying, when you get out of film school, half of those producers and directors and A-list stars that are in LA that are gonna sign your checks and gonna put you in those films are gay. The other half are women, all right? Small select few are men that are white anymore. It's just how it is. Everyone knows the Jews run LA. Everyone knows the best drinking water is on the west side of Sepulveda. It just happens. That's just what it is. What goes on down in LA. Alright, but times have changed, so when you get out of film school, be respectful to everyone you meet and you encounter, because guess what? You don't know who the hell that person is. That's why you always be nice to everyone you are out there. Be nice. Don't. When you walk from point A to point B with your headphones on and you see a tourist out there looking for directions or just confused or lost or just in a daze and it's so hot and palm trees, ooh, look at that, I've never been here, so cool, be nice. You don't know who that person is. That could be like Oprah Winfrey's daughter's cousin or something that could get you into a gig or a lead role somewhere else without going the hotel route or without going the trailer route. There's so many other ways to go. Don't be the hotel guy. Don't be the trailer guy no more. As fun as it sounds and seems no more, make sure it's two parties agree to something. Guess what? There's a lot of girls saying no, 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 no. Let me win an Oscar first. How about you get nominated? Let me win an Oscar first. That's their point of view. There's a lot more girls that are just gonna, you're the movie star, open up your damn trailer and you're gonna see that girl naked in your trailer. There'll be chance, I'm not saying it's wrong or right or anything, I'm just saying the chances are out there. They will happen if you let them happen and just let them happen the right way, all right? There's a right way and there's a wrong way and these five guys handled this shit the wrong way. Can't do nothing. The whole world is butt hurt, all right? Shh. Gotta be quiet, all right? None of that exists on this channel, I'm just saying. I'm just trying to prove a point here. But if you guys are listening, stop being butt hurt. Stop being so hurt over everything. That's just another side of my crazy mind that I'm thinking about and I'm talking about. You ain't gotta be butt hurt all the time. Everyone's butt hurt about something. Don't be one of those guys out of film school, all right? Don't be a perv. Don't be a perv. All right? Be respectful. You don't know who you're talking to out there. You don't know who you're meeting out there. That's all I gotta say about that.